Hey guys, Cameron with CBM Reviews here, and I was thinking about something earlier this week. Uh, this certain thing had to do with accusations against Brian Singer. If you weren't aware, Brian Singer directed the movie Bohemian Rhapsody, which stars Rami Malek, and has been widely acclaimed to be very good. Rami Malek has actually won uh, a SAG award, and he won the Golden Globe for, for his portrayal as Freddie Mercury, the leader of Queen. And while everybody is giving him praise for his portrayal, the movie itself, because it was directed by Brian Singer, has been getting a lot of backlash. In order for you to understand why it's getting backlash, you have to understand that there are allegations against Brian Singer as far as molesting minor children. Whether it's girls or boys, it doesn't matter. He, molesting minors is horrible. It's absolutely wrong. And this is not the first time that somebody has been accused of this lately. Uh, previously, Kevin Spacey was accused of doing the same thing with, uh, with messing around with little boys. And I mean, there are even other examples with Bill Cosby and, and his raping of women or R. Kelly and his, his uh, molestation of young girls. I mean, I say molestation but it's more like brainwashing. And all of this is, is alleged because I wasn't there, uh, but there's enough smoke to where I'm thinking there's fire. But those are just examples that I wanna compare against when talking about Brian Singer. And the reason I wanna talk about Brian Singer is that he has also directed other movies, some of which are popular comic book movies. Uh, he directed the first X-Men, the second X-Men, which is X2 X-Men United. He also directed Superman Returns, X-Men Days of Future Past, and X-Men Apocalypse. So those five comic book movies, not all of them are winners, but they're not all losers either. And you have to ask the question, with these accusations getting more and more traction, should we throw these movies out? The reason why I ask this is because generally speaking, whenever allegations like this start to gain traction and they become more and more accepted as the truth, there is always a backlash against the actor that's involved. Case in point, when Bill Cosby got accused of all those women uh, being uh, drugged and raped, they took the Cosby show off the air for quite some time and it actually hurt the other people that he worked with. And then you've got other issues like with R. Kelly, the, uh, the uh, Lifetime special Surviving R. Kelly came out and then all of a sudden there was a huge backlash where radio stations would no longer play his music and then he was dropped by Sony, which had him for a long time. The man was in the business for a while and now it's really starting to hit him where it hurts, which is the pocketbook. Even look at Kevin Spacey. During the height of what he was going through, these allegations came out and he was completely written off of House of Cards. So with these several examples of what I'm talking about, should we throw out these X-Men movies and this Superman movie that he directed because of his bad behavior? And the answer, in my opinion, is no. I do not condone his actions. His actions are horrible, they're wrong, and he should be punished to the highest extent of the law. That is what I truly believe. Yet I say that I want to keep these movies as okay, and I'm going to tell you why. Even though he directed these movies, they're not just his movies. Let me give an example. With R. Kelly, that music was his music. He wrote that music and, and it had, he breathed life into it. Every, every single lyric was something that dealt with his life, most of which were misdeeds. So throwing out all his music, even the ones that sound good and were, uh, to be honest, black anthems, I understand because that is him all wrapped up. With Kevin Spacey and the roles that he was in, he got written out of everything. There was a movie that he was in and he was completely recast and it was shot in 14 days because of his misdeeds. So for him to be written off, I completely understand. But then you have a complicated issue like the one with The Cosby Show. As I said, they took it off the air. But remember how I said that there were cast members that actually survived on the residuals for the um, syndication of the show. 
I mean, everybody wasn't super successful after they left uh, the Cosby Show. For every Felicia Rashad and Malcolm Jamal Warner, you had Jeffrey Tempest Bledsoe. So with Brian Singer, I akin it to that. Because even though he directed those five movies, do you really think of Brian Singer when you hear X-Men? I think of Hugh Jackman, Patrick Stewart, Halle Berry. I'm highly tempted to cut out Superman Returns because Kevin Spacey was in that as Lex Luthor. But Brandon Routh was in there and he did nothing wrong. What I'm saying is that because he was the conductor, you don't throw out the whole symphony for a bad conductor. And yes, sometimes it's a gray area and you're not exactly sure how to feel about these things. But when it's one person pouring their heart and soul and it's all them versus somebody who is kind of telling people, hey, I want you to do it this way, I want you to do it that way, and the person who's acting pulls off a star performance, we can take the art and separate it from the artist. Because, make no mistake, even though Bohemian Rhapsody is getting a lot of backlash because of the director, there's almost nothing but love for Remy Malik. So, this was a difficult video to, 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 to film because it definitely has some raw emotions and it's uh, definitely gonna have some people that completely disagree with me, whereas there are gonna be some people that completely understand where I'm coming from. And I didn't wanna just say no and, and, and then be done with it. I wanted to explain exactly why I came to that conclusion. Because without Brian Singer, we wouldn't have Hugh Jackman, we wouldn't have Halle Berry as Storm, Patrick Stewart as Professor X, Ian McKellen as Magneto, all of these characters that are iconic. And I will not throw out that iconography on his misdeeds. So this is my video talking about whether or not the uh, Brian Singer films should be thrown out. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below and be nice. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Share this with your friends if uh, you're brave. And as always, this is Cameron with CBM Reviews. We'll see you next time.